And it's Ken Kratzer for Sons of the American Legion Radio. We're covering Army football. The Black Knights will travel to Tulane to uh, play the Green Wave on Saturday. And we had the chance to talk with the head coach of Army football, and that is Jeff Munkin. And coach, it's Veterans Day. Um, I'm just back from a ceremony at our American Legion post in White Plains. You are always so respectful of veterans, recognize them all the time, those from the academy, from the U.S. Army, from the military. Uh, what's your thought uh, on this Veterans Day in 2020? Oh, that's something we should do every day. I, I don't think Veterans Day should be uh, or our thanking veterans and, and being grateful for, for their service uh, should be something we do just, just once a year. And um, you know, we, we certainly recognize here at West Point what our veterans do on a daily basis and uh, the things that they've done, what they continue to do and just how important they are to our freedoms and and uh, and our values and our way of life. And so we're, we're just incredibly honored to uh, to represent all the men and women who have served in the United States Army and continue to serve. And it's one of the things that makes us so proud to take the field every time that we do. Very good. Thank you. And yesterday we talked a little bit about uh, Tulane. Uh, They've got a very good offensive team. They they both run, run the ball well, two running backs, 500 yards apiece. Uh, their fullback, uh, Carroll's got 10 touchdowns, and their quarterback, Michael Pratt's thrown for 12 touchdowns. Uh, their defense looks very aggressive. They, they have 29 sacks on, on the season. Just tell us a little bit, if you would, about the challenges of playing Tulane on Saturday. Well, they really do have a, an, an excellent football team. And, uh, you know, the, the Pratt kid is, is – uh, is a starter now it was not at the beginning of the season. I think just they, they they have really evolved with him as the quarterback and and been really really impressed with uh, with what they've done. Uh, Coach Hall is <clears throat> he's an outstanding offense coordinator and and I've I've seen just how his his philosophy has been tweaked and and uh, and they've they've really just opened things up to uh, to 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 suit Pratt's abilities and uh, and, they're, and they're scoring a lot of points and gaining a lot of yards and making it very difficult for people to defend them. Um, I, I know the defense coordinator, Jack Curtis, very well. I think he's an outstanding coach. Uh, he and I coached together for three years and have great respect for him. And and uh, he too, he too has changed his philosophy to fit his personnel and doing a really nice job defending people. He's always been, uh, he's always been a guy that has been able to take the, the guys that he's got at his disposal and put them in, in great position to make plays. And uh, I watched that firsthand as, as he was our defensive coordinator at Georgia Southern. So uh, really, really, uh, really impressed with their team. Coach Coach Fritz is is deeply involved in their special teams. They're always very solid, very sound, and, and, and aggressive on special teams. So uh, a difficult team to prepare for, and uh, it's going to take a great effort on our part to have a chance to win. Very good, Coach. I wanted to ask you about a, a very nice announcement that came out yesterday uh, that uh, that uh, one of your senior linebackers, uh, Joe Stevenson, is now officially a nominee for the Warful Trophy, uh, College Football's premier award for community service, named for the quarterback from the University of Florida, the, the Heisman Trophy winner, Danny Werfel. Uh, just tell us a little bit about Joe Stevenson. We had a chance to talk with him last night. He, he's a really extraordinary uh, uh, cadet. Joe is an incredible young man and, and uh, is an outstanding player. He's battled injury all this year, which I, I have just hated to see for him. Uh, I know he was really looking forward to the opportunity to play his senior year, and, and it's just been kind of an on and off again uh, marriage with, with practice and games for him. Um, I'm hopeful he's going to get healthy. I think he's a good player. But more than that, what he means to our team off the field I just can't say enough. His leadership, and uh, and and he's you got a chance to talk to him. Just such an astute young man, going to be a tremendous army officer and a great leader in whatever he does in his life. Uh, and I'm really proud that he's one of the the uh, nominees and and, uh, and 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 will represent our academy well uh, as a, a Warful tro Trophy nominee. I'm I'm hopeful that maybe he can make it into the group of finalists. I don't know if you'd find a better young man to represent uh, all that that that, that award stands for. And so 
uh, we're just we're just glad that he's nominated and he's and he's receiving the recognition that he deserves for being an outstanding cadet, an outstanding athlete, and a, and a tremendous young man. Coach Jeff Munkin, thank you for a couple of minutes today, uh, and best wishes from everybody at the American Legion. Uh, we'll look forward to talking with you after the game at Tulane on Saturday. Best wishes from everybody at the Legion. Thanks, Ken. Best to all of our, all, all of our veterans today. Thank you, sir. And uh, this is Ken Kratzer for Sons of the American Legion Radio. We're covering Army football.